Okay, so uh, I connected it. I did call it um, SAT CBF for Charles Bradley Flickinger, SAT for satellite, so I could find it again. So I did name it. Uh, let me go in here back to my uh, view file here and go find it. There we go, SAT CBF. And let's get ready to run that. Okay, so again, you've got to make sure you start this in exactly the same place you took the measurements from. Okay, so uh, you're about to watch the premiere running of this to see if math really did work. The only thing I'm thinking is that since it goes so fast, it might bump it a little bit too far uh, because I don't put the brakes on quick enough. That's my only prediction is that maybe it goes a little bit too far and I might have to back that up a little bit, but let's go ahead and run it here. So it comes out, does the turn. It's actually, it didn't go far enough. Okay, so if we look at it here, it's not quite far enough. So I wish that it went to there, okay? So we're very close to having this work. Let me go ahead and cancel that, reset it, put this guy back to where it goes here, but you know, <laughs> that worked pretty good, right? I mean, it, 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 it hit the target with just using measurements and math. Okay, so, all right, so it's that, it's that um, second pink block here, that 401. I'm gonna add 10 degrees to it, so let's go. 411, uh, yeah, let's download that one. 411, add just, uh, you gotta remember, just 10 degrees is just a small rotation of that tire, not very much at all. Go ahead and reset your robot exactly where it needs to be, boom. And uh, there we go, go over to that, sat CBF. Go forward, turn, oh, 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 look at that. That is perfect, 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 perfect. And uh, then I'm just going to go ahead and program in the reversing of my robot here, which essentially is if you change all these, these, these blocks, you could have it exactly do the same. I could have it go reverse for 411 degrees and then C motor counterclockwise for 193 degrees and then reverse for four. In fact, I'm gonna try that. Give me a moment. In the next video, I'll just reverse my programming to see if it ends up back in the, the anywhere in the base is good. Anywhere, as long as it's just touching the base, you can rescue it without penalty. So even if just that back little uh, wheel comes onto there, that little steel thing touches it, you're safe. So you don't have to get it exactly, you know, lining back up again or fully into base. Any part of your robot that touches the gray area, the light gray area, you are back in base. Uh, when you come back in the next video, I will go ahead and put those reverse um, features in there and we'll see if it works.